Are you waking up in the morning and when you check your sales on stock sites you're disappointed right away because you haven't sold anything or if you did it was not what you expected? Well, you're not alone. Luckily there are things you can do to improve that and today I'll tell you how. So first thing people do that will not get them where they want is to just walk around with their camera and capturing various random things around them like buildings, streets, doors, windows, plants and similar. And don't get me wrong, you can also do that if you like that and upload all those images to stock sites. I also did that in the beginning, but I didn't get much sales from doing that. Of course, every now and then you'll capture an image that will sell a few times, but that's pretty much it. And also other still life images like nature or food will not bring you a lot of money. Why? Well, Everybody's doing that, so stock sites are flooded with those images. And I'm sure a lot of them are much better than mine or yours maybe. So just stop doing that and instead shoot lifestyle content with people which is much more in demand. So business, construction, people with technology, sports, families, it doesn't matter. Just shoot people doing stuff. And when you're shooting that, try to make it believable. Don't shoot those uh, cliche stock images like woman smiling to a bowl of salad or something. That was maybe popular 10 years ago, but now people want to see more realistic images. So shoot your partner, your kids or hire a model and do a proper stock photo shoot. Yes, it's not easy and yes, it will cost you more money, but in the end it's worth all the effort and time and money you put into it. I probably don't have a single photo shoot, well, except these recent ones, where I didn't get all my money back. Next thing you want to do is to diversify your content. And not only content, also models that you use for your shoots. When you shoot same models over and over, you will start to compete with yourself and that leads to less sales. So for example, if you do five business on the go photo shoots with same model or let's say same two models, buyers who will like those two models will be buying one image from this shoot and one image from that shoot and sales will be spread across all those five photo shoots and none of them will actually get a decent amount of sales to be boosted in search. But if you only have one photo shoot with these two models, all those buyers will be buying images from that one photo shoot instead of five and that photo shoot will get more sales so the algorithm will push those images in search so more customers will actually see those images and of course buy them. That's also why we now have a database full of diverse models so we don't use same models over and over. Of course we still use same models for different photo shoots but we try to minimize that. So next time when you want to shoot the same models think if you can find some other models instead so you're not competing with yourself. Also you don't want to shoot the same topic over and over over because of this same reason. If you like shooting portraits or couples, yes, of course, do that. But you also want to shoot other content like business, families, sports, construction and all that. Also try to find different professions that you have access to and shoot that. That way you'll end up with more diverse content and of course more sales in the end. The next thing you can do to 2x or even 3x your earnings really fast is to shoot custom content. Custom content is specific to iStock, but with custom content you're shooting directly for big brands like Toyota, American Express or Visa for example. So uh, what is custom content? Well, it's a thing when a company reaches out to iStock and they tell them what they need. And then iStock releases a brief for their specific need and we can all shoot for that. There are a lot of these custom content briefs in their mobile app or on ESP, so I'm sure you'll find some of them that you can shoot for. And those companies know exactly what they need, well, at least most of them, and if you stick to their guidelines, I'm sure you'll get some sales from that. The good thing here is that if they buy something, you will get more money than from regular stock sales. But the downside is that those images are exclusive to them and you can't sell them anywhere else. Also, if you uploaded a bunch of similar images and they only buy one or two, none of these images will go to iStock. But yeah, if they don't buy anything, 
all those images will go to your regular iStock portfolio. So yeah, it can happen sometimes that you will actually earn less money from the shoot than you actually invested into it. But I'm preparing a more detailed video or maybe even two of them about how to avoid that, how to maximize profits from custom content, what are the best practices for shooting custom content and similar stuff. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of those videos. But uh, yeah, I'm shooting custom content quite a lot and it works great for me. There are probably many more tips, but that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more stock photography content, click on this playlist right here and stay awesome. Keep shooting, uploading and I'll see you in my next video.